Um, this lighting's really bad. Hold up, we're gonna repark. Oh, he took my spot. Okay, it's definitely better. Now, maybe you can see my face as well. My steering wheel is literally so far down right now. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel and my Apple Store vlogs. Yay! So I'm right here outside the Apple store. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing here But lately there's been like a lot of Apple products that I've been thinking about getting So for example like another Apple watch because my boyfriend kind of took mine No, I actually gave it to him like a year ago because I never used it But now I've kind of like been starting to want to use it again And I feel like I can't really just take mine back because it's it's literally his by this time so I might want to get an Apple watch for myself then I also really feel like I want to get an iPad just because I I spend like all my time in bed which is really bad but I just feel like I want to have like a device that I can have in my bed with me and just like be productive obviously I could also have my MacBook but I don't know, I feel like it would also be so easy to just like put down in your bag when going places so I can be productive and work anywhere. But the thing is like, I don't actually know a lot about iPads. Like I've never really had an iPad except the one I got it for school. The school gave me an iPad for doing my school work and that's the only iPad I had and I hated it just because I, I just related it to school so like every time I was gonna work on it I just like got really demotivated because I knew I was about to do school work. But then obviously I, I still want to get the iPhone 13 Pro Max because my 12 Pro Max stops working like all the time. I know it's my fault because I keep filling up the memory by taking a bunch of pictures, but it's it's really annoying and I just want to upgrade my iPhone. Um, also, the battery keeps like running out all, all day. So I need to charge it like three times a day, which, which just doesn't work. The iPhone 14 literally comes out in like a month like almost two months um this is literally such a bad idea to get the iphone 13 pro max right now but i really do want to get it so i have to like find myself once i get into the apple stores i don't buy it put up a promise for myself i don't get to buy more than one thing one thing actually you guys get to hold me accountable for that so if i get more than one thing i have to I have to do a giveaway of the second thing I I get, but like I wanted to do a giveaway, so that's kind of not a good idea. I think we should do that like anyways, just go to the Apple store, you get to vote on Instagram like what I should pick out, and then I'll do a giveaway of that. That is actually a good idea. Alright, but now let's head to the Apple store. Alright, so a quick fit check before we head into the Apple store. Even though I have like the most boring outfit today, just an all black one. But sunglasses from Ray-Ban, Zara, basic crop tee, and suit pants from Pull and Bear. Of course, my favorite glittery guest bag. Okay, of course, I uh, headed straight to the cases. So this case is um, what I got in Spain. It's already getting kind of like yellow and brown. I don't know why, but it's kind of hard with MagSafe. So I feel like it'd be easier to have just like an actual Apple MagSafe. It would be like a lot faster with charging, but I don't know if it's worth it. And we also have this one, just a basic silicone case. But it's so expensive. You guys saw my case shopping vlog from Spain. I got like exactly this case, an Apple case. I thought it was a real Apple case because it even said like designed by Apple in California. But apparently it was a fake. But at least it wasn't as close to as expensive as this one. So this one was like sixty dollars. Mine was like thirteen maybe. I feel like this would be a good solution to my charging problem or my battery pro problem with my phone. I mean, my battery health 
is not actually that bad, but it works really bad. Oh, this looks like a new case. I've actually not seen this one before. Oh, it's a Nike case. That's cool. Nike X Apple. Literally so pretty. Wait, am I just stupid? Oh. For this, I've gotten obsessed with the graphite finish. Like the matte black or it's almost like a matte gray actually more than a black. But it looks so good. One more month. I feel like the prettiest one of them all is literally the pink one. I mean, I would definitely not want it because I'd get so tired of it after a week. But it's it's so cute. It's like a baby thing. The green one, it's actually like, it doesn't look that bad. I feel like a green iPhone isn't really something you would want. But it's actually like, is it like a military green or forest green? It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying the camera on the iPhone 13 mini and it's honestly pretty bad. I mean, it's not too bad, but I feel like maybe it's just that like the screen is so so small so you can't really see like a lot of detail. Cuz someone please tell me if you have like the iPhone 13 mini if the camera is actually good. Honestly, instead of getting an iPad, I could just get this because this like would definitely fit into my bag and be really easy to bring with me. I just got back from the Apple store empty-handed. What? Um, no, but honestly, I'm I'm so excited now for hello for the next iPad Pro to come out. I'm definitely gonna get it. Uh, so my camera cut me off. It ran out of battery because I just filmed way too much at the Apple store. But yeah, the guy who helped me, he was super helpful. He also showed me this website so it showed you if it's worth uh, buying the apple product now or if you should wait um which was really good i definitely should have used that one for when i didn't know if i was gonna get the iphone 13 pro max uh because obviously it showed like it's not worth upgrading and it also showed the same thing for the ipad pro buyer's guide don't buy don't buy but here you can buy oh okay but here don't buy it's approaching end of cycle yeah so 50 days and new ipad might come you never know mm -hmm. so if you're going for the ipad air yeah go for it because it got updated with the m1 chip 5g touch id but you won't get face id mm -hmm. if you want the better 120 hertz mm -hmm. then you should definitely go for the pro yeah and then they're saying they don't recommend you buy it because in a month or two it might get updated but guys i i definitely decided i'm going to get the ipad pro which is really really exciting um i've never really had an ipad as i said except for my school ipad but it was like a really old one it was like controlled by the school so i couldn't even download like the apps i wanted to the guy who helped me at the apple store he also showed me how how the ipad is really good for when you're studying like taking notes his notes were so impressive by the way these are my notes siri parallel <laughs> electric all done on the ipad yeah. i can show you biology the human heart anatomy 
That's cool. I wish I would have done the same when I was studying. Now I'm not studying anymore, but definitely for the future, I feel like it's a really good investment to get an iPad. And also for the thing I want to use it for is a compliment to my video editing, whole planning process, organizing my my stuff. It's definitely going to be something I can use for my work, I think. Since I already have a MacBook Pro, pretty much with an M1 chip, I think it was. So if you have a newer version of MacBook Pro and newer version of iPad Pro, which are compatible, you could like connect them to each other. So one thing you could do was drag files just like with the mouse between the iPad and MacBook without like airdropping. So if I take this image and I bring it into the Notes app, then yeah, that app supports this image and it works just fine. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put it into the voice when I'm working, you have like a bunch of different files open and have like my editing software. Software, I have my planning documents up just like a little everything and it's really hard to like keep all of that on the MacBook because it's like the MacBooks kind of for just doing one thing at a time and that's also what I really liked about the iPad because he was like showing how you could work on a bunch of different things at the same time yeah, you can browse Safari talk with your friends <laughs> and then at the same time you can listen to music have the mail open on the side. Oh yeah. But then go back to Safari, hide the mail, talk to your friends, go back to the mail. <laughs> and also the weight of the iPad, it was literally so weightless. <laughs> so my iPad that I had, it was like really heavy. Also it had this like keyboard case, so that probably contributed to the weight. But the iPad I tried, the iPad Pro, 11 inch it was so lightweight so keeping it in your bag is also not really going to be a problem because i feel like when i when i take my macbook pro with me if i'm just like gonna go over to my friend's house or something and i want to have like my work with me so i can just like do some quick quick fixes maybe if i'm gonna be there for a long time i like having my macbook with me but then my bag is like super heavy and it feels like i have just a lot with me and it's just like i feel like it's gonna be a lot easier with an iPad I can take that with me guys I didn't even look at the colors of the iPad Pro for the prices well this is for the current iPad Pro model obviously the new one might have some different prices but for this one the 11 inch display starts at $799 and the 12 inch to $1099 so I'm I think I definitely want to get the 11 inch I, oh so apparently the only finishes are space gray and silver what you can actually get it up to two terabytes but it starts at $18.99 that is so expensive it's like a macbook but also i feel like if i just get the 256 gigabyte i'm gonna have the same problem as i have with my with my phone right now i don't get it why storage has to be like so expensive on apple because if you just like get an sd hard drive this little external hard drive you can get like a one terabyte one for 45 dollars but anyways guys i'm gonna do a little bit more research on the ipad but now i'm really excited so i'm gonna save my money for this time and just save it until the ipad Pro comes out yeah, so it's gonna be a real shopping spree this September because we're gonna get both the iPhone 14 Pro Max and apparently now also the iPad Pro <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm really really excited I just like picture myself walking around with my little iPad everywhere just working from anywhere that is gonna be it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it I definitely enjoyed going to the Apple store as usual thank you so much for watching please subscribe so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you in the next one